Welcome to our PHP web course. In this video, I would like to show you the basics for installing the XAMPP software. You will typically hear XAMPP pronounced as XAMPP, the X being pronounced as a Z. However, you may hear other ways of pronouncing it. The X stands for cross-platform, the A stands for Apache. The M stands for MariaDB. That is technically the database. However, it is implemented as a MySQL database. The P stands for PHP, and the next P stands for Perl. We are not using Perl in this course. That is what XAMPP technically stands for. It is a popular PHP development environment. XAMPP is easy to install. All you need to do is to go to the URL, apachefriends.org, and then find the download suitable for your computer and operating system. You will need to select the components you do not need to install all of the components. All that is needed for this class is the Apache web server, the MySQL database, the PHP programming language, and the PHP MyAdmin, which will administer the database. When you have finished installing XAMPP, you will be given an icon to start the program. That icon is essentially a control panel. You will need to start the Apache web server in order to use PHP. You will need to start the MySQL database in order to use any applications that work with the database. So the first thing that you will do is to launch the control panel and start the Apache web server by clicking on the button. You will also start and stop the MySQL database service as needed. When you are finished, you will stop the Apache web server and the MySQL database. I do not recommend leaving these services turned on for security reasons. My recommendation is to turn them on when you need them and turn them off when you are finished. 